This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. happened there that was a that was a representative of the university who was saying I can't tape in that room she is hosting the event itself so she was responsible for putting it together she's hosting the event yeah she's putting it together I see. And so this is not actually sponsored by the world affairs council uh, you have to talk to her about that I see. Well, I'll get as many answers as I did before <laughs> right so, all right thanks Bruce. so you know the deal you're more than welcome to go inside, but apparently they don't like the videotape in the room. They sure don't like cameras, which means cameras are effective. All right, so I could push this further than I have. I could push it further than I'm planning to. Uh, right now, I guess they're in there watching some kind of propaganda film, and I'm sure makes the speakers look great and their causes and their institutions. But uh, what I'm going to do next is just kind of poke my head in there without the camera going in there, get a look and see what the all three speakers look like. I wanted to interview three speakers, and uh, I only really caught one of them. And I've been here since 30 minutes before the event was scheduled to start. So maybe two of the speakers got in there early. Maybe they went in by an alternate route. I've been told that this event, although it was listed on the World Affairs Council page, is more of a student-led event, a student-organized event, UNH. Um, I'm told that the woman who was trying to stop me from taping, at least in there, um, is a student herself. The fact that they're recording the event, I guess, is better than it not being recorded at all, especially if they release it on YouTube. But the, one of the problems that creates for me is I want to go in there with my camera, which is close to me and can hear me ask the question. His camera, that guy in there, probably won't be able to hear my question very well. So I need my own recording device. That's just for pra just as a practical matter, uh, setting aside the whole principle of the thing. My taxes fund UNH, but I cannot tape a UNH event featuring public officials that I also have to pay. Well, in some cases, I'm not sure that all three of them are currently public officials. Okay, so I'm going over here now to the door, but not inside, just to check and see who the three speakers are. You know, it's also possible that those two additional speakers got in there while I was talking to other people about whether I could record. They may have been able to just slip in there without me noticing or whatever. whatever. Uh, something else, another problem with me not being able to record in there is what happens if something goes wrong with the, the official uh, recording, uh, either intentionally or otherwise. You know, if there were something embarrassing that were asked of one of these officials and maybe that didn't get, that part didn't get put on YouTube, is that possible that that would happen? Maybe. Uh, I know that it's not going to happen to me. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and then there's also the the, uh, the technical issue of you know they could have a technical breakdown with their camera, and the one allowed recording is now gone. So those are just my practical considerations and, and objections to this situation, this, this problem, this uh, policy. I gotta admit, it was relatively awesome how that UNH, or not the UNH, but the UN uh, lady handled my questions. Um, you notice how like the, the feds I've interviewed at the events like this, ask them about torture. Some of them won't even condemn it, right? Um, but, um, but at least she was willing to condemn the mistakes of the UN or the, or the abuses committed by UN personnel. Um, 
amazing to think that a UN official would be more accountable to the people than some of these feds are, which he sounded more accountable. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go.